Hi everybody, it's Mel here and welcome back to my channel Pebbles and Peach Plays. Today I have the first quick review that I have done on this channel and it is a long awaited review of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, um, as you guys know, I've been posting like Animal Crossing content nearly every single day on this channel so I have been playing this game a lot. In fact, I think I've put in almost 100 hours already, which is absolutely crazy and kind of shameful, but let's just not get into that. <laughs> so today I just thought I would get in and give you guys a quick review of the game that doesn't take up too much of your time, but gives you a good understanding of the game and what I think about it. Obviously, I might be a little bit biased considering I have based my entire channel on Animal Crossing almost at the minute. Like it won't always be like that. I will play other games, but for the moment, I'm really, really enjoying um, posting Animal Crossing and tutorials and little things for you guys. And uh, yeah, I just think the game is actually brilliant, but there are some things that I don't like so much about it. And I'm gonna let you guys know about that today. But before we do dive into the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit the little notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. As I've said, I post Animal Crossing and gaming content daily at the minute so if you don't want to miss on that, make sure you hit the little notification bell. So Animal Crossing New Horizons, I have been excited and waiting for this game literally what feels like four years uh, in January as soon as they announced that you could pre-order the console, like as soon as that date came out. I was on there, I pre-ordered the Animal Crossing console, I pre-ordered the case and I pre-ordered the game, um, the collector's edition. There's been a little bit of issue I think with their stock or stock management or warehouses and I haven't got the collector's pins which I ordered but regardless if you guys want to see the rest of the stuff I do have an unboxing video that was one of the first videos up on this channel so you can check that out, I will leave it linked below. But regardless of the console, the actual game itself, oh my goodness it for me, for a long time Animal Crossing fan, I played it a lot on the DS. I spent way too many hours on the DS and I think I still have the same save file going from 2013, which is absolutely crazy. So that's like seven years with the same game. So I grew to know it very, very well. And yeah, um, Animal Crossing New Horizons has really lived up to the hype. And the game is absolutely brilliant. I like all the new little things they've added, the new characters that we're meeting and the new way that you can get villagers to come to your town. You can kind of pick and choose more now and have like a little bit more control what villagers actually come to your town. But to get down to the basics, here are some of the things that I do and don't like about Animal Crossing New Horizons. The things I do like, it still has that same relaxing, feeling about it. You can literally just sign on to the game, you can go about fishing, you can go uh, hunting for eggs at the minute. We have the bunny event and I think it's cool to do the review at this time because we are just getting to see our first event and what that's going to look like and it's really cool. So at the minute um, we have the first event which is bunny day where you run around and collect eggs and shake trees and make special crafting recipes and I really hope that this is something we get a lot throughout the year because it makes the game so much more um, interesting. Obviously if you've been playing like they have new fish, new bugs um, every single month but if you've kind of finished that part at the start of the month then it's kind of just a slog for paying off your mortgage, paying off things, trying to get villages in your town and me personally I am not a time hopper. There are people who play the game that would I guess be referred to as time hoppers and what that means is instead of waiting to pay your mortgage day by day and doing the grind which is my personal preferences a time hopper will skip through a day to get the museum they'll skip through a day to get the shop they'll skip through a week to build up some interest in their bank account and i think you can get through the game very very quickly that way and i can see how that would make you more tired of it now i don't mind if people time hop. Just because time hopping isn't my personal preference, it doesn't bother me if other people do it, but I do think that it will make you run bored of the game rather quickly. Because for me, the joy of Animal Crossing is going in daily and being like, okay, well, I can't get the shop today. Oh, resident services are closed. So what else will I do? What can I enjoy about the game that isn't just getting new shops, getting new things? It's going fishing, it's meeting new characters, it's taking part in the events and seeing how beautiful and how pretty I can make my town even though I can only buy maybe a certain amount of flowers. And for me, that really is the enjoyment of Animal Crossing. It's the ability to switch it on for an hour a day, maybe a bit less, maybe sometimes more, and just being able to switch off and relax. And it's really funny because there are people I know that play the game so differently. I actually know people who get stressed about the game. They're like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. I have to pay my mortgage. I have to get all the materials for this shop. I have to do this, 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 and this. But I think if you just scale it back and like 
enjoy the game, then um, I don't think that you get that. If you just kind of like live the game, those things just kind of happen and you gain Nook Miles. So um, bringing down the game, you have two forms of paying for things. You have bells, which we are used to from the original Animal Crossing games. That's the form of currency. But we now have Nook Miles and you can get Nook Miles by doing like those daily activities, by planting flowers, by spending some money in the shop, by cutting down trees. And what you can use Nook Miles for is you can actually use them to visit other islands to try and find characters to get to your island. Or you can use it for like special items for around your town for decorative purposes, things like that. In the game you also have the ability to visit your friends and family or you can actually do what's called a dodo code and what the dodo code lets you do is do a one-time code. So say if you just need pears and you type a line in a little group, hey does anyone have pears and you don't necessarily want to add that person as a friend onto your switch, you can generate a dodo code and they basically come over for that one-time visit, you do your trade and that's kind of the end of it. And I think that's something that we really, really needed in Animal Crossing. And it's a really cool feature that I myself have actually made use of for pairs, funnily enough. <laughs> Next, we have the game mechanics. And the game mechanics are very much the same to what we're used to in the original Animal Crossing. There are some different um, controls and things that you can do. And uh, if you guys watched my 15 beginner tips for Animal Crossing, I've mentioned a lot of the things that aren't really explained in the game. That's, I guess, one of the downsides is to a real beginner to the series, Nintendo in some ways drop you in it a little bit and they don't explain um, some certain things that would be really, really helpful for you throughout the game. The one thing that I don't like about the gameplay now is that they've added the fact that your like fishing rod and your shovel and like your things that you use to maintain your town, they break really easily. Um, whenever you first start the game, you get the flimsy ones, which literally last like zero time but even when you manage to use your nook miles pay things off and get the better set um, of tools it still breaks and that's one thing that has really really annoyed me i don't know um there is gold nuggets on the game so maybe later down the line we're going to get like we got in the old games where you could you know make the silver watering can and the silver fishing rod and the gold fishing rod and maybe those will last a little longer but um i just hope that those don't break if we do get those because i find it really, really annoying having to constantly run back to build my tools. But the pro to this is we now have this really cool crafting service. Now, anyone who's also played Animal Crossing po Pocket Camp on your phone or tablet, that is a game I play, you will kind of be used to the crafting mechanic because I think that's something they've obviously taken from Pocket Camp and put into New Horizons. So now you can basically build and customize your house whatever way you want it, which is totally amazing and something I've been really, really, really enjoying in the game. So you can build chairs and then you can color them to suit the house. And you also um, have a lot more storage to get things like wallpapers and flooring and all the items from the shop. And we also have the Nook Stop, which is where you can buy things to get sent to your house daily. So I've been really, really enjoying this feature. So is this game really for you? Well, do you want a game that you can relax, let things happen and chill? Because if so, yes, Animal Crossing is the game for you. I find it personally such a relaxing game. I literally feel better after having played it. Like it is just some time to zone out and live this like quiet, peaceful life on an island, collecting your fruit, chatting to your neighbors, maybe visiting some of your friends and family and chatting to them there. The one feature which is a little bit annoying is in Nintendo, we don't have really like a headset option. You have like the Nintendo chat on your phone, but um, I don't really think it's as great as like on the other consoles. That's one downside for me. I've actually resorted to, I have like a WhatsApp group for the people that I visit and we will chat in there just because it's a little bit quicker than using the chat that you get in game but for really simple things or for people that are just flying by to visit you then yeah it's good for that so in my opinion i love the game i think it's great and um, i definitely think if you are really used to fast paced type games and you go into this it might be a bit confusing for you and you might be a little bit like okay what do i actually do here but i think if you kind of ease into the game go with the flow find out that it's about more relaxing than anything and um, then you might enjoy this game and one thing that I'll mention just before I go is I think it's really cool that you can still use the Amiibo cards. So um, the Amiibo cards collections came out a while back. I think we're on like series 
five or six, goodness knows it might be even more than that now, I haven't quite kept up, but I do have some of the Series 1s and the Amiibo cars, you can actually scan them on your Nintendo Switch and you can invite characters from your cards into your game, which is a really, really cool feature as well. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of Animal Crossing. Are you gonna get it? Have you got it already? Have you put like nearly 100 hours into it that I have? Then let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and to hit that little notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next upload. Bye guys.